Hey, what's up, YouTube? Right here live from the Siete de Copas in Tijuana, Mexico. I want to tell you guys I got all the information. This place is kicking ass and taking names. It's completely huge. This is what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to go home. I'm going to give you guys the information. I just wanted to let you know right here that we're here at the Siete de Copas in Tijuana, right down the road, right down the Agua Caliente from the Cueva de Peludo. Guys, I'm kicking ass. I'm taking names. Smash that like and subscribe button because I'm getting it done for you. And I'm right here right now. Real information. We'll see you. Okay guys, La Siete de Copas. And it had been about 15 years since I went to this place. I didn't remember anything. I'm gonna take you guys through it all. Okay, first of all, this place is enormous. It's probably the biggest club in Tijuana, in my opinion. It's just enormous, right? All right, so you pull in, there's a parking garage there, and there's a hotel that connects to the Siete de Copas and kind of a wall that goes all the way around it. There's an entrance in the front, an exit in the back, and it's totally safe parking, it's totally cheap parking, and it's a good time, okay? No cover charge or anything like that. So, we park the car, we get out, we walk in, the stage is huge, it's two floors, boom, boom. All right, well, you know me, I immediately go to work, right? Walk over to a girl, get your ass over here. She comes down, she sets down, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna buy you a drink. She's like, all right, but the minimum's two. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah. So guys, if you want to buy a girl a drink at the Siete de Copas, it's a two drink minimum, right? And they're like six or seven dollars each, okay? But you have to buy two, okay? That's the deal. So I said, that's fine. I'll take the two drinks. I bought her two drinks. Now my drinks were cheap. You know, mixed drinks are about like three bucks. I was paying in pesos or whatever. It is going to be a little cheaper than the Adelita Bar or a little cheaper than the Hong Kong Club and Zona Norte, right? But, and same thing with the people I was with. I was with a group of people. One girl was drinking beer, and her beer was cheap. It was around $2. All right, so anyways, I sat down with the girl, and I just get right to the nitty-gritty. I said, you know, what's it going to take to pull this deal off? And whatever she told me in pesos was the equivalent to about 80 bucks. okay? So, you know, if, if Hong Kong is the major leagues, and La Cueva de Peludo is, is double A AA or triple A, I'm going to go ahead and say that this place, Siete de Copas, is like high A ball, okay? It's just a little bit, little bit down from the Cueva. And when I say a little bit down, I say because, you know, it was probably less girls there, less people there, less action, less music. It was just kind of dead when I went. Now, it was a little bit early, but in my opinion. Also, guys, I've told you before, if you go to Hong Kong, you know, it's going to be about half gringos and half Mexicans. If you go to the Cueva de Peludo, you're definitely going to be the majority of Mexicans there. I'm going to say 90%. Now, if you go over to the Siete de Copas, guys, I was the only gringo there. And while I did feel completely safe, I can just tell you it's a different atmosphere. Okay? So, take that for whatever it means. It's a different atmosphere. But hey, did they have beautiful girls? Yes. Was it cheap? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. Did I have a good time? Absolutely. Can you have a good time? Yes. So you should not feel um, you know, scared or unsafe about anything from the hotel to the facility to the parking. Everything's good to go, okay? All right, guys, that's going to wrap up Siete de Copas. Any more questions you got, you let me know. Until next time, guys, peace out. Stay safe out there.